And to solve that, I will use another resource that is intermediate to advanced also. And now we will add the adjusted tool. And what it does? With this object, we can define a dependent variable from an independent variable. So in this case, what I want is to have 2 bar G at the stream 2. And I will set my adjust to get the best result at the stream 2 to have 2 bar G at stream 3. So let's do a double click here. And first, I usually set first the target variable. So my target is the stream 3. And what I want is the pressure. So I select the, the object that I want. It is stream 3. And I want the parameter that I want, that in this case is pressure. So this is, will be the source of information to the adjust. And what I want is 2 bar G at the discharge. And my adjusted variable will be the stream 2. Choose stream 2 and it will be pressure also, but can be different variables depending on the process. And what I need to do is click on start to start the iteration, but before doing that, I will increase the number of maximum iteration, because once the high seas reach the iterations, it interrupts and asks you if you want to proceed. So I usually increase this number and now let's click on start and verify if we convert our process simulation. And you will know if it converted if we get the green line here. But before doing that, I will do a guess to Iceman High Seas in order that he identifies what is the starting point. So in this case, I will add as true. But this value will increase once we have the pressure drop in the pipeline. So I will close this window. And another thing that we will do here is delete the information at the outlet of the pipe because as I added the adjusted, the result will be a function of the dependent variable. So I will delete this. And an uh, interesting thing that happened here, you can see that the stream 2 converted and the stream 3 converted. And for the Aspen High Seas, he did the calculation. And we have here, that the pipeline is over specified, but the results doesn't make any sense and I will tell you why. It doesn't make any sense because we have here two bar flowing through to three bar and every time that we have flow of fluid, it goes from the higher pressure to the lower pressure. So this kind of results doesn't make any sense and this is why it's so important to the process engineer or to the chemical process engineer understand what he or she is doing while he, is, he or she is performing a process simulation. It was not my intention to have this result, but it was interesting to comment this to you. So what I need to do now is delete this information and now I have a consistent information because the outlet of the pipeline is lower than the inlet, but I don't want it. I want 2 bar G at the stream 3, so because of that I need to start the adjusted and we will see that the stream 2 pressure will increase. So let's verify that. And now we have the conversion of the adjusted. And when I return here, you can see now that the pressure at the discharge of the pump is higher than 2 bar. And it is because we have the pressure drop between stream 2 and stream 3. 
and with this we were able to define the minimal pump discharge pressure to, to reach 2 bar G at the outlet of the pipeline.